Jeff Ogilvie has really fallen off. Not great results for the 2006 US Open champion. As soon as you do something better than you did before, everyone expects you to be on that level all the time again. That's one of the more difficult things about winning big tournaments. There's nothing more toxic mentally than not dealing very well with expectations. It's a tough sport, you lose your momentum. The game just swallows you up. Down but not out, Jeff Ogilvie became one of last season's feel-good stories after his win in Reno. This is some comeback. When you're down and out and you feel like uh, golf is not really great, you're kind of frustrated with things, you start losing confidence and you start losing love for the game and he kind of went through that a little bit. It's exciting to see him back on top. While Ogilvie had a career resurgence during the 2013-14 season, he wasn't the only player to bounce back. J.B. Holmes has taken the title. After missing significant time the past few seasons following multiple brain surgeries, J.B. Holmes broke through at Quail Hollow for his first win in 132 events. Congratulations, that is a magnificent comeback. Tim Clark rediscovered his winning ways last season as well, overcoming a chronic elbow injury to notch his first victory since the 2010 players at the RBC Canadian Open. Kevin Na also rebounded nicely after an injury plague 2013 in which he made just eight starts. I shut it down with a bulging disc on my lower back and, and you take time away from golf and you start appreciating little things a lot more. And that was a big key to success I had this year. Six top tens, two runner-ups, I'm doing something right. However, injuries aren't the only roadblock for players to overcome. Former world number one Martin Keimer struggled with swing changes and entered last season winless since the 2010 PGA Championship. I didn't think it's going to be a great year, but I thought it's going to be definitely better than 2012 or 13. I was practicing quite a lot in the winter, but I didn't think they were going to win such a big event right away. Martin Keimer has done it to win the 2014 Players' Championship. In addition to winning the players, Keimer also went wire to wire at the US Open for his second major title. We knew he was a special player, so it's been good to see him uh, play well again uh, this year to the level we know he can play and to be able to win two big tournaments. 32-year-old Camilo Villegas snapped an extended victory drought as well, taking home the Wyndham Championship for his first title in 115 starts. It's been a while since I won on the PGA Tour. It gets tough to win out here. These guys are good and uh, we keep working and sticking to the process and when you see yourself being rewarded with a trophy, that's always special. Redemption has no age limit and 43-year-old Stuart Appleby posted his best FedEx Cup finish since 2008. Highlighted by a runner-up at the Barclays. I've spent a lot of time in my career in that top 30 elite area and now I got kicked out of the cool crowd and it's been interesting looking back from the other side of the fence. It's hard work to stay in there. 